Hi neighbors and welcome to Miracle Farm 1927 Homestead and this is where we want to help you grow in your faith, have hope, and all about homesteading. And we got a little job we're going to do today and I want Miracle, this is Miracle's project so I'm just helping her and she's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Hey y'all, so today our chores are mucking out the barn, moving Lady's Run to its winter spot on the homestead. So she's away from all of the good grazing that needs to grow until springtime and be put to rest. And we're also going to be mucking out the barn, which is the fun, thrilling, we have to do every other day of the week during the winter time because everybody is stuck in the barn because it's yucky outside. The sun just popped out for the first time today. Uh, it's been raining for four days straight. Welcome to winter on the homestead. <laughs> oh, and happy new year. It is now 2021. So that's fun. <laughs> Blessings, y'all. Helper with her. Dog walking at its finest. Everybody lunge your cow. Don't get that dog. <laughs> yeah, tail. Yeah, well, this horse isn't supposed to be this color. In the summertime, she's a beautiful golden palomino. In the wintertime, she's a light gold tan. Oh, she's mad at me. I touched her. Like around her muzzle. But because it's so muddy out here, she loves to roll. And we are having to clean the barn out more often. Everybody is in the barn this time of year. They don't like it. Our walkway is a mess. But getting them off the pasture and letting the pasture rest while there's not a whole lot of um, forage out there, they would just eat it down to the dirt. And that's not good for the pasture. So they have got their hay in here. This is the goats area. The calf. Where you at? She's still in there in the milking area, fixing to move. This is the goats area. The next one is where the, uh, oh, here she comes out with a load. Get out of the way. Is where the billy goat is. And he's fixing to be let out. That little girl there some more, hadn't been bred yet. And she's the last one. So we're actually gonna let her come into heat one more time. So she'll have babies in late June. And everybody else is bred, we think. But that's why we're gonna let him out. He'll let us know if anybody else needs to be bred. And our project that we were working on the other day, our new hay feeder, She's got, got this halfway cleaned out. 
So we normally only have to clean this out once a week because the animals are all only in here during the night. But now because they're in here full time, it has to be cleaned out every other day. So we'll be spending a whole lot more time out here. So what happened with the feeder is the slats like up there are were too close together for her to get her lips in there. So we have trimmed them back a little bit. And we're trying this. I have plenty more to be able to trim off and still hold the hay in there. So we're going to try this and uh, as she's able to eat more and more hay, we'll leave it. But I think we're going to trim off just a little bit more today. I trimmed it off yesterday and uh, because there's some areas like right there, she's not being able to get her lips in very good. But I was able to get my fist in. I figured if she, I could get my fist in there, she could get her nose in there. So just a few adjustments and we'll just keep working on it until it works out. Getting her stall done. Snow Puff's helping. Are you helping? Look at her helping. Big helper. Are you helping? What are you doing? What are you doing? She's watching you. What are you doing? There's my baby cow. There's my baby cow. Look at that tongue. I like your tongue. I like your tongue. I got the horse's stall all done. Nice and clean for her. Goat stall all clean. They're happily munching away. And there's the horse. And here's one of the best investments we ever made. You see how muddy it is out there? It would have been just that way right here in front of the barn where we try to get our wheelbarrow. What? What? <laughs> but this is $300 worth of uh, cement and it's at an angle so it sheds the water away from the barn and this is like the most wonderful thing and the goats because they don't like to get their feet wet won't even go off of the uh, she wants her butt rubbed <sighs> watch this Now I'm going to stop and back up. Oh, she didn't do it. What is it? <laughs> oh, you're getting in another position. Okay. Your mama needs to brush you. <laughs> you gonna knock me off. Where are you going? I feel good. such a mare. Look at my ears. Even though I'm loving it, my ears are back. Now I'm going to move. Okay, that's enough of that. And now I'm mad. Look at me now. Uh-uh. No, I'm getting the butt back in front of you so you'll scratch it. Look, I scratched all the dirt off of it.
Okay, that's enough. And got the cabbie stall all done. Come here. Come here. Come here. She's like, no, Grandma's the guest. <laughs> now she's like, we're choosing Grandma over you. Okay, so now I've got both for babies. They know who their Grandma is. <laughs> Lady's still not liking me and the big sisters. You don't like the baby. <laughs> oh, she broke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of her? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's a nuisance when she wants her butt rubbed, but watch her listen to her mama. Back, 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 back. She's really a good girl. She's just got that mayor attitude. Baby. We're back out here finishing up this uh, portable fence, but I wanted to show you why we moved the horse. You just got to be real careful with large animals because she is so heavy and can tear up the uh, ground so much. And this is a good example. I know it looks like somebody skidded through here with some tires, but this is that's not what this is. This is where she skidded before she hit the fence and over here is exactly what she did too this is how far she slides and this is how <laughs> how much land she can tear up and that's why we're using this little area over here as a place for she, where she can run as you can see it's right up against the pine trees so it is not a good growing area anyway so it's our little sacrifice Official area of land just for her for the winter time and she's going to have this all tore up here too but we're not going to let her it's just saturated wet out here right now so we're not going to let her out here today maybe tomorrow when it settles off and it doesn't have much grass in here we'll be putting uh, hay bales in here for her to eat and just letting her out for a few hours a day to get her running fix in but um if you have a horse they have to have a place where they can run and because this is a homestead where we grow our food she can't have free reign of all five acres this is a very small homestead and so she has to be contained it's just like the cows when they get a certain size we have leased property we put them on but miracle has got the we've got the top uh, strand done and the bottom strand is a smaller strand it's right over here and we got to get it fixed She's, we've got all the posts up so when you're thinking about having large animals either you need acres and acres of pastures or you need to have them a place where they can get some exercise Oh, well, we got her all done. Got the little temporary gate in here. Got her two strands of wire. Got the tape for visibility and then the little wire. Got her water bucket. Haven't got it cleaned out yet. Miracle's bringing in any equipment that we've left out there. And her run is all done. And she's over there waiting for it. She knows this is for her.